how fast is it to actually take off. So let's set a timer, play off the ball now, take the ball off, take the sleeve off. Oh, actually I need to leave the sleeve on so I can screw this off. Just untighten. This is how the Victrix Pro goes on. Ready, set, go. It's on. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. As you know, I'm a big fan of arcade sticks and the one that I've got here is the Victrix Pro FS, but I'm actually not going to be focusing mostly on this stick today. The only reason I'm holding it is because I want to show you that one of the features that I like about it the most is being able to pull the stick off the stick so that you can actually put it flat into your bag and bring it anywhere. I realized that this has been a feature since before the Victrix Pro FS came out, but it wasn't until I got this stick that I actually started really seeing the benefit of having this sort of feature. So even in Tokyo, you can go and you can buy the Freak Mods Link accessory. It's something like $20 or $30. But now that Victrix has made their Link 2, it would appear that a new product has been developed by Sanwa Denshi. Now I bought this from Rakuten. They didn't send it to me free of charge or anything. I just bought this directly from the online shop here in Japan. And I think maybe it doesn't come out until another two weeks or a week or so in the West, but here it is. It is the removable lever Sanwa Denshi stick, or lever, or shaft, or whatever you want to call it. And so before, on my stick that I still absolutely adore and love, sorry, adore and love, is the Mad Cats Tournament Edition 2, the TE2 Plus arcade stick, but as you can see, I can't take the stick off because this is just a standard Sanwa JLF lever. I don't know if L in the JLF is lever, so I don't need to say lever lever. Anyway, in addition to being quite a large clunky stick and taking up most of the space in my bag just because it's very, very square and boxy in shape, I would like to be able to still bring it around places and not have this jab into other stuff in my bag. And I've talked about this before where if you've got like an iPad in your bag, you could destroy the screen. I'm very excited to have another option, this time an official option from Sanwa Denshi. This is not to say you should go and buy the Sanwa one just because there's an official one out there, but for people who wanted an official solution from Sanwa Denshi, we do ha now have an option. This cost me something like 20 or $30, I can't remember exactly, but there it is. The Sanwa Denshi. Ho oh, ho ho ho. This is the official removable lever. You have to pull this sleeve off, unscrew it like so, you can take the lever off like this. So it's not a quick release mechanism, a bit like the mechanism on the Freak Mods Link or the Victrix Link 2. This is like a not quite as quick release system. You have to screw it in like so, but to make sure that it's tight, you put this little shaft on it and that prevents it from spinning. So when you spin your finger around here, you don't spin the shaft part here, you only spin the whole unit. So you can't accidentally pull it off. Since I already have the removable lever here on the Victrix, I thought another thing we could do is install it on the TE2 Plus and then compare it. I think it's going to feel very, very similar and the Freak Mods Link and the Victrix Link 2 are both gonna be easier to take off because you just pull up on the buckle and take it out. The only thing is that the feeling is a little bit different with the Victrix. I mean, obviously it's very, very, very similar, but it does feel ever so slightly different if you were to really, really analyze it. The Freak Mods Link has a little shaft shape here, so maybe the feeling of your fingers will feel a bit different because where you put your fingers, it won't feel quite as smooth with this cover. Anyway, I'm really excited about this official solution from Sanwa. We're going to plug it in to the Madcats TE2 Plus, and we're gonna see how it feels compared to the Victrix Pro FS. So the first thing I need to do is open up the Mad Cats TE2 Plus, which I can do so quickly by pressing on the button here. So this stick, unlike the Victrix Pro, which has all the hardware down on the bottom, Mad Cats TE2 Plus has all the hardware here on the top. So what I'm gonna do is grab my screwdriver and we're just going to pull this out of here. Hopefully it's not gonna be too difficult. It's got this weird red gunge on it. I don't really know what this red gunge is for, but it's kind of gross. Coming off now, I've taken the final screw out of there. There were only four screws there, and now I can take the- ha <laughs> ha! Uh, uh, this is the problem. I've taken the lever out, but I haven't taken the ball top off. I have really screwed this up. Hold on, I need a- I need a flathead screwdriver. Hold on a second. 
Alright. <coughs> ah, oh my god, I forgot. So I went and got my own pocket knife flathead screwdriver, and I completely forgot that there's actually one built into the Mad Cat's TE2 Plus here. It's actually sitting in here ready to do stuff like this. You have to hold this in place with the screwdriver, and then on the with your other hand, you twist the ball top off. You may be wondering, if you've never seen this before, why don't you just take the ball top off on this normal sun reliever? Well, here's the catch, is that even if you take the ball top off, you can't remove this shaft. This is stuck. There's no way to take this part off. And so even if you take the ball top off, it's still going to jab into your iPads or your documents or files or whatever it is you've got in your rucksack. Which is the reason why we will be installing this removable, I don't know, it's called like J-L-F-Y-E-Z-A-1-2-3-4-H-E-F-Z. -E I have no idea. We need to take this out by pulling it out the bottom here. And the last thing I need to do, take this sleeve Take that sleeve off. Ew! Oh, it's kind of gungy. Now this is the original JLF lever. It's very, very simple. It's just a stick with a bunch of micro switches telling the telling the controller which direction you're pressing. But I need to remove the clasp here. Oh, you just pull it off. So I didn't have to pull up on the buckle at all. So this is the original Sanwa JLF lever. We're going to be replacing it with the new JLF lever with removable shaft. I'll do a comparison later, but the height looks exactly the same to me. How thick are these shafts? This is the removable lever, this is the original lever. I can confirm the top edges are the same thickness and the bottom edges exactly the same thickness. So if you were worried that the removable lever had a different thickness of shaft cover, fear not, the shaft cover is exactly the same on the new removable lever as on the old one. And for some reason, it's clear. I don't know, maybe it's just a status thing. You can prove that you've got one that's clear. Who cares? So let's take the old lever and put that to the side. And we're going to take this new lever and we're going to install this here. Now, I'm leaving one of these dust covers here so that it protects the innards here. So what usually you do is you put one dust cover on, you install it there, and then on the other side, you put the other dust cover on the on the top, like so. So I'm going to put this here, and I've already forgotten which direction it went in. I think it was this way, wasn't it? And I'm going to use the same screws that were already used to start with. For some reason, this new lever did not come with new screws. They just assume that you've got the old screws from the old lever. Do love a good screw. This is very, very exciting. For people who really, really, really must have this specific shaft, I think, if you want this exact thickness, this really is still the way to go. Okay, so that is in place. That was a very, very simple mod. Look at the front, and as you can see, we have the removable lever like so. You can just unscrew it like this and take it off completely. The thing about the Victrix Pro is that if you stick with the Victrix Pro Link 2, you can't really change the ball top because you need a countersunk ball top that's a special shape. So if you want to have a gold ball top like this one, you can't really use the Link 2, you'll need to use one of these Sanwa ones. But it's 20 to $30 to get this lever, so even if you buy a Victrix, you can install this, as far as I know, and I haven't tried it yet, but you can install any Sanwa lever in the Victrix Pro FS. So that's looking nice and portable there. Time to plug it in. There's a five pin connector here from the Madcaps PCB. Plug that there. And you are modified. Sick. That is all there is to it. Just gonna close that up now. And we're done. So that's almost completely finished. The last thing we need to do is put this protective sleeve over here so dust, too much dust doesn't get inside. And we can also slide this on here. Now this is actually really important. This is an important part of the installation because as you can see, there's a part here on the bottom and the top where it goes flat. And that actually lines up with this shape here. As you can see, it's round on the sides, but it's rectangular, flat edged on the top and the bottom. That nut is going to be how it tightens, but we don't want it to spin when we're spinning this into it. So we can actually plug this in like so, and to prevent it from rotating, we hold we hold this in place like so, and then we attach the ball top on like this. I'm just going to use the ball top, but if you really must, it looks like you can use a screwdriver, jab it into that hole there, and then hold it tight with your left hand, and spin 
with your right hand. And I'm screwing the ball on like so, and I have forgotten the sleeve. <laughs> Put the sleeve back on like this. Hey, presto, we now have <laughs> it feels exactly the same. That's wonderful. Oh yeah, you cannot tell. You can't tell that it's a different lever to the original one, except that this sleeve doesn't really freely spin. The only difference between the original Sanwa lever and this new removable lever, this would actually spin. You could, you could spin this around as much as you like and the ball would be independent of it. But now it seems that when the ball spins, so too does this sleeve, so you're, they move together. So in a way, this could actually be quite powerful. You could use a new technique where you hold the sleeve in place and you prevent the ball from rotating. But at the same time, it could bother you that maybe the sleeve doesn't rotate, in which case you might be better off with the Victrix Pro one because that does, this, this sleeve here, this does rotate freely. I can spin this around and have the ball top not spin around. And as you can see, one of the coolest things about this is that I can still use any color of ball top that I want and just by grabbing onto the sleeve, I can hold it in place and take the ball top off. Just to show you how unbelievably quick that is, I will just continue to unscrew this. And I can't anymore. Ah! Not sure if you can see this, but the nut there in the base is rotating with the shaft, and I don't want that to happen. So this is why the shaft is really important, because of that rectangular shape on the bottom of here, you can actually hold that nut in place while you screw this off with a screwdriver. So in fact, it's not really as necessary for tightening, but this Phillips head hole on the top is actually more important so that you can loosen it out of the thing. So there you go, and there you have it. You have your standard JLF lever with the exact same shape and size that you're used to, so I've just dropped something. But you've got a now flat device that you can put into your bag. I've got a rucksack over here. This is an absolutely standard backpack that I bought for skating. Let's see how well it fits. Oh, got some coffee as well. It is quite a boxy large stick, so that doesn't that hasn't changed, but oh man, look at that. I still have all of this space. This would have this space would have been lost before. Once you had the lever in here, anything you wanted to put in there is gonna get stabbed by the stick. But now that it's completely flat, you got all this extra room to put like a laptop or speakers or headsets and gear and mobile phone batteries, PSP, switch. You can put so much you put some coffee. And there you got loads of extra room. Whoa! So much extra room this has been made by having a removable lever. And again, I hate to keep repeating this over and over again, but this is not the only company that does this. It's just if you want the official Sanwa shape and sleeve and experience that this particular lever offers, then now it is possible. One thing that's not too cool about this lever is that if you lose <laughs> certain parts of this, you could be really in trouble unless someone else has this particular sleeve. You don't want to lose the parts. The Victrix stick is all in one, so you're not going to lose anything because this can't come off. The new Sanwa stick unfortunately comes with the dust cover, it comes with the sleeve, and it comes with the stick, so you've got four different pieces all of which could get lost, that could be a problem. But the test won't be complete until we've actually tested it in game. So we're going to plug it into the game and we're actually gonna try this removable lever in an actual game. So as you can see, we have Street Fighter V loaded up here and I've got my stick ready and I'm not able to press any buttons yet while well, I can select my character and stuff, but I don't have the stick plugged in. To show you how easy this should be, you should be able to plug the sleeve in here, plug this in with the Phillips head hole on top like so, screw that in place. I guess if I need to tighten it, I can actually put the sleeve over the top here and then just use the ball top to actually do the tightening for me. I will only need that Phillips head hole when I'm loosening it. Make sure that's nice and tight and we're in. I'm actually got full access. Oh, feels exactly as you would expect. We don't want it to feel better or worse. Well, we definitely don't want it to feel worse. We don't need it to feel better. We just need it to be the standard Sunwear experience. And apart from the sleeve not rotating freely, it does feel exactly like you. I mean, obviously the sleeve can rotate. It's just that the ball will rotate with it. But it looks like we've got full control of the game over here. Let's go ahead and choose our characters. See the game. Looks fine to me. Let's see if I've got any issues with... Nope, air kunai is not a problem. Let's still throw them. 
feels clicky as you would expect. Absolutely no issues. Feels exactly as you would expect. Sounds exactly the same as a normal Sunwell lever. You would never know that you weren't playing on a normal lever. And the only real difference is that right down here, you feel the sleeve. That's the only thing about the Freak mods, is that you would feel the weird shape of the link. And it's, I'm sure that most people are absolutely fine with it. And so am I. It's just that if you really, if you're the type of person that must absolutely have the sleeve exactly as you would expect on the original Sunwell lever, like so, then this is about as close as it gets. <laughs> but yeah, now you have three options. You've got the Freak Mods Link, you've got the Victrix Pro Link 2, which you open, I think you can only currently get it if you buy a Pro FS fight stick. And then you now have this, which is sold separately. It's not a mod for a Sunwell lever. It is its own lever. You buy this whole unit and you get this whole unit. It's not just the shaft and you mod it to a Sunwell lever. You pay 20 or $30, however much it is, and you get the whole thing. You just don't get a ball top because you can choose your own ball top. Try on your stick at home. Try on your stick at home. Do you notice the sleeve rotating? And in fact, obviously this one does also rotate, but then the ball rotates with it. Maybe this is actually preferable for you. You would have to try it to find out. Personally, it makes no difference to me because I'm not bothered by whether it's rotating or not. I'm honestly not gripping onto it so tightly that I even notice how thick this sleeve is or really care too much about it. But in terms of thickness, it's like nice to have a girth that you're used to. I suppose if you're the type of person that does a lot of 360s, maybe you would feel the sleeve more often than I do. But personally, I don't really feel the sleeve too much. Now it seems that it's working absolutely perfectly in game. The one thing I want to try right now is how fast is it to actually take off. So let's set a timer, play off the ball now, take the ball off, take the sleeve off. Oh, actually I need to leave the sleeve on so I can screw this off. Just untighten this and then I can use my finger to do the rest of it. I don't know how many seconds this is taking, going as fast as I can. And I've got all the pieces off and we're done. How fast was that? Not as fast as taking the Victrix Pro lever off. This is the Victrix Pro lever. Obviously, you just go yoink and you're done. Unfortunately, you do have to take four separate pieces off. But once you've done it, you've got that very familiar feel. Now, let's see how long can you rush into a match if you don't have your ball lever attached. Let's go three, two, one, go. Put the sleeve on here, spin that into place, slide that into there, finger tighten that. Put the sleeve on top and then I can actually use the, I don't need the screwdriver to put this on at the end, but it's a little fiddly. Hold on, one, two, three, and we're done. How long did that take? Anyway, I also just want to say that when I first saw this on Twitter, I was really disappointed. I was like, oh my god, that's gonna fail. It looks like it's going to spin and spin and it's not actually gonna be tight. It could just come off by accident, but I, it absolutely could not possibly come off by accident. There's nothing you could do to take this off by accident. To take it off, you really do have to grasp it by the sleeve, pull it off like so, and then it comes out. It's hilarious how sometimes it comes off with the ball and sometimes it doesn't. Whatever. All right, last but not least, I want to compare it to the only other removable lever that I have, which is the Victrix Pro Fight Stick Link 2 removable lever. So I'm just going to put Street Fighter over there for a second. Just to refresh your memory, this is how the Victrix Pro goes on. Let's time it. Ready, set, go. On. Unbelievably easy. Let's like let's take it off. We'll time it. Ready, set, go. It's, on. it's like under a second. Very, very easy to put it on. Very, very easy to take it off. And the sleeve is recognizably Sanwa in feel. It feels a lot like a Sanwa sleeve. The stick will feel ever so slightly different. The actual mechanism itself, this part down inside here, this is just a standard Sanwa lever. It's just with a special shaft. In fact, when you buy the Victrix Pro FS Arcade Stick, you can actually take this metal shaft out and just put a normal Sunwell shaft in if you don't need the removable feature. Pretty sure some professional players actually have taken off the Victrix lever because for whatever reason, they're not a big fan of this Link 2 lever. They've just taken that half shaft out and put in the original Sunwell lever shaft, the one from the JLF this shaft right here. So the last thing I want to do is just compare the height of these sticks. 
All right, I found my most important fighting game tool. You never know when you may need to double check the length. This is probably the most unscientific test of all time. All right, according to my ultra scientific test, you can see it's about 5.4, almost 5.5 centimeters tall there. Now let's try it on the Victrix Pro. I'm gonna try and do this without scratching the v Victrix Pro. It's metal on metal, so this could be really bad. But I'm doing it for science! For science! Aha! Okay, this is not ultra scientific, but this looks like it might be just one or two millimeters shorter than the Sanwa stick. That is not a very scientific conclusion. Please do not take my word for it. By the way, I'm actually, ma I'm actually able to take it out with one hand just by spinning it like this. So with the new removable lever, if I screw this in all the way, let's measure it with our Tokido tape. All right, that is about 4.1 and a half, almost 4.2 from the base plate. And now I'm going to do the same test with the original Sanwa JLF. This is the one that does not remove. Oh, you know what? I was measuring the wrong part. I was measuring the tip here. I'm gonna measure it from where the neck bit begins here. This is precisely 3.2 centimeters. And if I do the same thing with the removable lever, this is the one that actually removes. All right, it's difficult to show you on the camera, but when I eyeball it, it is precisely 3.2. So as far as I can tell, they are identical. Fascinating. Well, we don't need this anymore. That's gone forever. I will forever only be using these. Well, on my sticks that don't have the Victrix quick release mechanism or the Freak Mods quick release mechanism. So let's reinstall it. I would argue that actually replacing your JLF, your lever, is actually easier than changing the buttons because you can break these tabs on here. So just put the sleeve back on, hold that in place, put the dust cover over there and let's roll this ball back on here. And once again, within seconds, we are back to standard Sanwa stick glory. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is the conclusive test of the Sanwa new removable lever. The model number should be somewhere on screen right now. I'll add it in the edit later. I would say that if you are a big fan of the Sanwa JLF and you've tried the Freak Mods and for some reason you don't like the sleeve shape here, this is probably your next best option because it gives you that sleeve shape that you're absolutely used to from a standard Sanwa stick. I had the Mad Cats TE2 Plus, which came with this Sanwa lever and the black plastic sleeve here. But as you saw, the thickness of this black plastic sleeve and the clear plastic sleeve on here are exactly the same. The only difference is that on the original JLF, this is actually free spinning and has nothing to do with the ball top. So even if you've got the ball top very tightly put on here on the top, the sleeve can still spin around. Whereas on the removable one, it is not it still spins, the sleeve spins and the ball top spin, but they are not independent of each other. When you grab one and they spin independently, that's actually how you remove the ball top, but it's very, very easy. If you need to get off stage quickly, you're off. It really is that quick. There was a little concern online that if it's a screw type interface, then eventually the threads could become weakened over time from over screwing and over tightening. But it's only day one for me, so I don't know how that's going to handle over time. I assume that it's strong enough that you can screw it in over and over and over and it won't break, but I have no idea. Day one. Now, the only reason I haven't put the Sanwa removal lever on here and I'm sticking with the Victrix one is that I love this stick. Maybe it's like a millimeter shorter or not. I can't even really tell, but it might exactly, I mean, that could just be my measuring was incorrect. As you can see, when you open up the Victrix Pro itself, there's actually a hole for this stick, the one that comes with the Victrix Pro, the Link 2, as they call it. The sleeve goes in there, or the dust cover goes in there, the stick goes in there, and it's a perfect fit. It's even got a nice round hole for it right here. And because that works so well, there's really no need for me to have the Sanwa removable lever in here. This one fits in here. And close that and I'm good to go. Very portable. Don't need to worry about parts getting lost. There is that concern. I guess the only thing that would worry me about this remove Sanwa removable lever is that you could lose these pieces easily. The dust cover could get lost. So there you have it the Sanwa official removable lever. So if you absolutely have to have everything Sanwa, then this is probably the stick for you. 
as close as I think you're going to get to the stock Sanwa experience, but also have the convenience of removability. Sounds good, feels good, looks good. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that great stuff. And I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gaming video or on the next stream or on Discord or somewhere. Bye. And one thing I forgot, I may have purchased some exciting other Sanwa accessories.